Because even I had to ask the Lord after I wrote an article in 2004 in Ukraine, when we were in Ukraine, about what would be happening right now and then the order of nations that would begin to come back. And you've got to understand what is going on in the world now is evil versus evil versus evil versus evil. So don't try to, America tries to make somebody right. It, it, quit doing that. That ain't how it worked biblically. God would make, use evil to overtake evil. And you need to reread the Bible in this time of war. I mean, think about when God was ready to take out Jezebel, he got Jehu, who was bad, and then he got Haziel, who was evil. God chose them. Jehu told all of Jezebel's uh, prophets that he had gone over to Baal, got them all in one place like this, had a big meeting, and then killed them all. Haziel was so evil, but yet Haziel was what was used to take Jezebel out. You have to know we're going to have to get used to seeing how God uses evil. And quit shying away from something just because it looks bad. Now, now with that, so this harvest sickle was going and the Lord started showing me the harvest. So if the Lord brought us here at this war memorial to realign the remnant, he's realigning the government of how we will advance, and he's realigning the mission of how we will advance into the harvest of our territories. Now, and we're seeing a lot, we're beginning to actually see the fruit of a lot of this going on. And what I want you to know is you have a portion that God has, and you have to know Judah has to go first. Now, Judah isn't just the praising, but Judah is the aligned leadership team that knows how to use sound to win the war ahead. It's made up of apostles, prophets, uh, singers, musicians, and they know how to bring the sound in that brings the revelation necessary for us to advance. And so, with that, things are moving around us. Tell some, even that chair you're sitting on, that's why you're going to have to see a lot of things supernaturally you didn't see. That chair you're sitting on is not stable. That is a physics principle. That has all these model cues moving in that chair, and you trust it to sit in it. Now, we can trust God a lot more than that, but you're going to have to see that he's moving things all around us that are important for us to watch carefully. Now, so your portion is important. Every state of the 13 colonies is important. Your role in leadership is important in these states. Your role in assisting leadership is important in the states. Because, see, we're moving in a way like we've never moved before, and we're having to understand we are moving again now in war, so we're going to have to surround and encircle our inheritance, our sphere, again. And the Lord told me as we gathered here tonight to tell you, you're going to the next level. He told me, he told me that in my room today before we came here. He said, I will take those who show up to the next level. There. They're going to start getting beyond where they've been. I'm going to start showing them how to get others to get beyond where they've been. 
And then I'm going to raise up a third generation out of the seed of this that will win this war ahead. I was sitting there on the front row. I uh, bent over and told Amber something, but I have to. I have to go back to where in uh, I was usually one of the youngest one ones in meetings like this. It started in my uh, second year of college after the Lord visited me, and I never looked back. And I <laughs> will be quite honest with you. I do not like to speak publicly. <laughs> but I've been doing it so long and having to trust the Lord every time I open my mouth and because I can remember going back to when I was 16 in high school speaking publicly and even going back to the fourth grade where the first time I ever spoke publicly and then when I was 18, I started speaking for the Lord. And that became a whole new dimension for me. And I was sitting there thinking, oh, Lord, because somebody had sent me a word and said, you know, I see the Lord using you right now. It's a, a time, yeah, such a time as this, like Esther. And I wrote him back and I said, if I went before the king right now, he would say, pale and tired. And and tell me that he's got to use me to help raise up new blood. Now, I'm telling you, I was sitting on that front row today and the Lord said, I already have my mobilizers for the future. And there's a great cost to do that. 